Hi, my name is Andy Colbert and I'm the training manager here at Riedel. Welcome to the Riedel Academy to go. A short video that will help you understand how to get a certain function working in your Riedel product. If you want to go a bit deeper and find out more about the technology that makes our systems work, then please do head over to the Riedel website and click on the Academy section. There we have all kinds of sessions from webinars to presentations, workshops, interactive online trainings. We also do in-person trainings. So thank you for watching this video and we really hope to see you soon. Hello and welcome to this Riedel how-to video. My name is Andy Colborn and in this clip we're going to be showing you how you would program a listen to port function. Now sometimes when you're using an intercom you're not in the same room as the person that you're communicating with and so you don't always know what's happening on their end of the connection. Sometimes you want to check what's happening in their surroundings. Maybe if you try listening and it's all silent then you'll hear that the room is empty or maybe you just simply want to check what's going out on on the program feed to be sure that it's the correct audio going out and it, it sounds all normal. So if you want to be able to listen to an audio source in your intercom, then you're gonna need the listen to port function. Now in order to program this, we simply right click on one of the keys, then we're gonna add the function listen to port, which is the fifth one down in the list. Once we've selected that, the window pops up where you can choose the name of the source that you're going to take. So let's say, for example, the camera party line. You want to listen to what all the cameramen are saying. Then all you need to do is click on OK, and that's done. Whenever you press this button, you will be listening to what the cameramen are saying. Another shortcut, if you have a pure input, audio connection, so in this case the program audio, we can just drag and drop that to the panel and then it will automatically create a listen to port function which will allow you again to listen to this port whenever you press the button. One thing you do want to pay attention to is that the key itself is latching in most cases. If you want to know about the different kinds of key modes that we can have that will be available in another video, but as long as you have it latching then in 90% of cases you're going to be okay. Thank you very much for watching this video. We hope it has shown you exactly what you needed to know in terms of how to program a listen to port. If you have any comments, please do write them in below. And otherwise, don't forget to subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next video that we release showing you how to do stuff with Riedel's Artist System.